Uh, so I'll, I'll give you the actual rundown. I, uh, you know, the, I have a 4, 412 cab, a custom audio electronics head, which is a channel switching thing, has like a clean channel and a dirty channel. And then I have a G2 unit. If you guys don't know about those, that's my latest purchase. I, I definitely didn't grow up having one. I just got one this year, and it's a game changer. Uh, it's made by a company called The Gig Rig, and it does all your switching for you. And the idea is that when you have tons of pedals, you have to run cable from pedal to pedal to pedal, and the reason your tone sounds artificial by the time it gets to the amp is mainly the cable. And uh, this, uh, there are a few pedals on the market that do it, but nothing quite as intelligent as this guy. And uh, it lets you hook up 10 pedals kind of in parallel, and then you select your routing through it, but it also handles all the channel switching for the amp. And, you know, whenever you have like MIDI-operated pedals, like digital pedals, it does all the, you know, program switches. Uh, and it's not a huge pain in the ass to program, which was my fear, because I, I hate that shit. I really do. It's, uh, you know, I need it to be very easy, and it's really idiot-proof. Um, so, yeah, so, I mean, I guess I'm, I use about eight sounds. Uh, one, I'll just run through them for you. This is the clean channel of my amp with a touch of uh, reverb, which is my rhythm sound and it has an RC booster on it too. And I use that for like all the funk chords and for all the comping, right? That's, that's my, I guess, my basic clean sound. Um, the, it's, it's laid out in two rows and I just, you know, program it for, you know, the top row to be all of the stuff with the clean channel of the amp and the bottom row is all the dirty channel of the amp. So. And then, uh, yeah, the next sound that I have is something I use only in a few songs, which is kind of a wacky effect. <laughs> it's like the talk box emulator on the Strymon Mobius with just a, an RC booster on it. Then I have like a tremolo verb sound that you heard when I was playing like a chord solo thing in the beginning. <laughs> kind of lingers for a while. So that's like the Jeff Becky kind of thing. Um, after that, what do I have? An organ kind of sound, which is also like the Mobius. Like a rotary. And I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's just like an extreme tremolo. That's one side of the thing. Then my lead sounds. This is just the dirty. Now, on the, on the G2, there's like one, you can assign buttons to do specific things. So if you take a look at the, you know, the last light on the amp, I can, you see that red thing that flicks on? That's just the boost channel on the dirty side of the amp. So the pedal also, the G2 controls that. So uh, this is just the dirty side of my amp with a touch of uh, delay. <laughs> RC booster on it is the second program. Whoop. If I want to add the boost channel to that, it sounds like this. And that's and now my main lead sound is the, the exotic soul driven on that, which is this guy. <laughs> then I have uh, the dirty side of the amp with a long verb. Uh, it's, it's really a delay, but that's my Jeff Beck wannabe sound. <laughs> that what do I have one fuzz and 
and then a really crazy ring mod thing that I use uh, on a solo. What what's the, what song did I do it on? Escape from Hippie Mountain. That's right. Uh, on our Goatman CD. Yeah, and that sounds like this. <laughs> That's the rig. So long explanation, but that's all the sounds I use, like ever. Actually, much more than the sounds I would use on a gig. I don't. I only use a few.